Please turn to page 198 for stage three of opinion writing. Up at the top of our page, we have our descriptors. What skills are you teaching at stage three when it comes to content organization, sentences, and mechanics? At this stage, we are looking at the author, the title, giving our opinion by just circling an emotion or what we think about the text, backing it up with a picture, and then making a connection with a picture. This stage is for children to just learn the elements of what they need to have in order to officially give an opinion. I have now gone back to pictures and just writing out key information because most first graders are going to probably start at this stage three so that they learn all the different elements for their opinions by just drawing pictures or learning how to write titles and authors' names. We don't want to get into the writing piece until they learn all those different elements. Once they have that down, then you move to stage four where they're actually going to put all this together into a paragraph. So let's go ahead and let's look at what we did when we made this opinion. This opinion, this example on your page, was for Tacky the Penguin. So after reading aloud the story, Tacky the Penguin, what did I do? I said to the children, boys and girls, I'm going to have an opinion about this story. An opinion is, I, the reader, tell what I think or how I feel about a story or information I've read. And I have an opinion about Tacky the Penguin. And I'm going to tell you that it is full of hilarious parts. So now I have the children go like this. Back it up, back it up, prove it, prove it, prove it. Go back to the book and give us evidence to back up your opinion. All right, all right. I'm going to go to the part of the book where Tacky was doing cannonballs and spraying water all over his friends. And I'm sort of going to, and at that point, I'm going to point to that picture and say, that is hilarious. That's evidence that this book is full of funny parts. After I do that, I'm going to draw a picture. Then I'm going to go back and I'm going to say, connection, connection. Does this remind me, this funny part where he's doing cannibals, of something that's happened in my own world, another book I've read, or something I've seen on TV or in a movie? And then we start talking and we come up with different ideas. And in this case, we came up with where we had made cannibals in a pool and sprayed water on others. Now you have your evidence in a picture and you have your connection. Then I go back up and I say to the kids, I'm going to read my opinion. Ready? There were funny parts in the story, just like when he did cannonballs, and I've done cannonballs before. And then I have the kids go like this. What? Be polite. Be polite. What was hilarious? What was funny? What are you talking about? This was funny. It doesn't make sense. Uh-oh. I forgot to tell you the title and the author. I can't just say an opinion without telling you what I have an opinion about. Sorry. I go back and I write the author's name and we talk about capitalizing the first letter of the first and last name. And then we write the title of the book, capitalize the first word in a title and all the important words. We had tacky has a capital. That's the first word and it's important. The is not important so we're not going to capitalize it. Penguin is important so we're going to capitalize it. We have our author, our title, and then we're going to circle how we feel about this story. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to read my organizer. Helen Lester wrote Tacky the Penguin. This book was packed with hilarious actions, like Tacky the Penguin jumping in the pool and making a big cannonball and water spray all over his friends. This reminds me of when I jump in a pool and spray water on my friends. So I'm orally rehearsing what an opinion would sound like. And then I have the kids go through as I point to the parts of the organizer and they do the same as well. Eventually, every time we finish reading a story, this can be a follow-up activity where they would go and write what their opinion is, where they would write in the author's name, the title, circle whatever their opinion is, draw a picture, and then make a connection. You could have this attached to your listening post. You could put this as a homework assignment as well. When they finish having a parent read them a story, they could do this, what's your opinion, back it up page. That's our stage three opinion writing that you can use for narratives or information. 
Now let's move to stage four, where once the children have all this information, they understand all the critical elements that need to be in, in an opinion, now they're going to go to stage four, where they actually can take all these elements and write it out into a paragraph.